Next video. Sunny V2, how Planet Fitness became hated by the world. To understand the overwhelming hatred for Planet Fitness, you first need to understand their business model. Planet Fitness was created with the goal of having a non-competitive culture opposite to that of something like Gold's Gym, where bodybuilding is glorified. Everything in Planet Fitness is catered towards the less experienced beginner, and on the surface, this makes Planet Fitness look like a fairly positive place. However, as we look into the methods they- Planet Fitness fucking sucks. It's the worst gym ever. The only reason people fucking go there is because it's cheap. And that's fucking it. And that's fucking it. The whole idea, like, I, I understand it's a judgment-free zone. And, and I do like that. Like, I like the idea of, like, not judging newcomers. But a lot of gyms don't judge newcomers. The stereotype that, like, meatheads and, like, bodybuilders will make fun of new people at the gym is kind of, like, not true. There are people that do it, but it's very rare. And even at Planet, people are going to do that. Hate to be that guy. If you're a new fucking gym person at Planet Fitness, there's going to be people that do the same fucking thing. You're not going to remove that. That's just people. And it's the idea of, like, oh, they want to remove competitiveness. I think that's good. I think the idea of being competitive at a gym pushes you. I think going to a gym, a part of the appeal of going to a gym is that you're working out around other people and it pushes you to do better. Why do yeah, I and they sell like fucking pizza and donuts and shit. This image posted to the Gym Memes Facebook page shows a note attached to a Planet Fitness leg press reading, We do not cater to bodybuilders or heavyweight lifters. Please help us keep our non-intimidating environment by loading only four weight plates on each side, with this note showing that not only a Planet Like that's so fucking- oh my god. Oh my god. Like dude, holy shit. It's not that serious. Like, I I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this shit. I never judge people that are new at a gym, right? If you're new at a gym, I respect people that are new at a gym. If you, if I notice that, like, you're you're a new member and you're you're at my gym and you don't know how the equipment works, I'll help you if you ask for help. I'm not gonna fucking make fun of you, right? But like, sitting there and saying like, oh, if you're if you're strong or you're a bodybuilder, you're not allowed to lift this amount of weight because it'll intimidate someone. Are you fucking kidding me? Like then just don't go to a gym. Like actually just don't go to a gym at that point. Like holy shit. We're all, it's all a community of people that are on different progress levels that are all working out for their own goals. Focus on yourself. And that goes, that goes for people that are very experienced and very inexperienced. You focus on yourself and the people around you, the vibe around you motivates you to be better. You don't have to sit there and fucking stare at somebody that's fucking squatting 405 and be like, Oh, this makes me not want to work out here. Oh, fuck. Then go home. In addition to requesting that members only use a maximum of four plates on the leg press, Planet Fitness gyms also feature no squat rack, no deadlifting area, and no- Yeah, the dumbest shit ever. The dumbest shit ever. The one of the the uh, the most important fucking lifting thing you could have at a gym: a squat rack, a fucking barbell, and they don't have that shit. How the fuck do you call yourself a gym without a fucking squat rack? Yeah, and then it and then it gets people injured. It's the reverse thing, dude. It makes the whole idea of not looking stupid at a gym, squatting on a Smith machine. Dude, it's so annoying. The gym requests that members refrain from doing T rows, overhead presses, clean and jerks, deadlifts, and even requests that members don't do supersets, which is achieved in part by maxing out their dumbbells at 75 pounds or 34 kilos. 75 pounds is their highest lift. Oh my god, 75 pounds is their highest dumbbell. I'll, I will say I'm barely you. I'm barely ever using more than 75 pound like dumbbells. But, like, the fact that the max dumbbell they have is 75 is actually, like, not that. Like, I'm 6'2". Six, I'm, six I'm 178 pounds right now. Like, I use 75s for shrugs or bench or some shit. Like, if, like there's so many people, even if, like, you don't lift that often, like, lifting a 75-pound weight, like, it's not that unachievable in, like, a two-month goal span. And they got every fucking cardio machine in the goddamn world. How many treadmills do we fucking need? Oh my god. Like a hundred? 
I went to Planet Fitness as a joke with one of my friends because your first day you get free to test out and I was deadlifting 360 on the Smith machine and I put pads underneath the weight so it wouldn't slam and the manager kicked me out because I was noticeably stronger than everyone else and creating an intimidating atmosphere. Like Planet that's just pussy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Just work out! Like, that's not even, like, dude, he's just weightlifting, minding his own business, and it's too intimidating. Like, I get it, I've been at the gym when there's some dickhead, like, beefcake with a fucking spray tan that's just slamming weights and shit. Those guys are assholes. That's annoying as fuck. But the idea that, like, oh, if you're too strong, it's intimidating, that's just kicking people out of the gym. Be like, that's literally just discrimination because you're too strong. Titled Planet Fitness Cancelled by Membership After 500 Pound Bench Press, cementing their dislike for those who go to the gym to push All their right. Well, this is, these guys should just get fucking kicked out. Because this is, like, see, this is what I'll say. Planet Fitness, like, like this guy, it, this isn't even I intimidation. These are two kids holding the fucking bar. Like, this guy, dead ass could probably bench, like, three, like, four or five. These two are holding the bar. Like, for those who go to the Literally gym... Literally to... lifting the bar up. They're laughing. This is so fucking stupid. Like, this isn't even intimidation based on strength. This is just some dumbass just trying to fucking look strong. Planet Fitness also has their notorious lunk alarm, which can be triggered by Planet Fitness staff anytime they see a member working out too intensely. <laughs> working out... Okay, see, that's stupid. The idea of, like, gr like, that's annoying, but, like, you shouldn't kick somebody out. This is what I'll say. Like, I go to the gym, and there's sometimes some dumbasses that are benching and going, Ugh! 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 After every fucking rep, like, if anything, get the manager to walk over and tell them to shut the fuck up. Don't kick them out of the gym. Just tell them to shut the fuck up. Because that's what I would do. Shut up. You're being a fucking idiot. Planet Fitness, you're being too loud. Also, Planet Fitness uses a tornado warning sign to replace the noise of normal gym activities. This alarm is infinitely more disruptive than the clanking of weights or grunts of strain lifters. It's also startling, which can cause severe injuries to anyone under load. And in addition to simply having the lunk alarm, there are countless comments describing ridiculous situations during which the alarm has been sounded. I accidentally dropped my drink off the treadmill and the lunk alarm went off. I got kicked out. The lunk alarm... You drop your water bottle. You gotta get out of the fucking gym. Leave. But to be fair to Planet Fitness, both gym members and the staff themselves have often stated in videos and comments that the lunk alarm is rarely ever used. Yeah. Yes, there is a lunk It's there, but most gym franchises won't use it. Alarm, however, I've never even heard it go off. I've worked at two different Planet Fitness locations, and we never once sounded the lunk alarm on people for anything. I think it depends on the individual locations, whether they're franchise or not. We were told that we weren't allowed to use it, that it was more of a novelty item. I went to Planet Fitness for six months and never heard the alarm. I think it mostly depends on the manager you get. Treat the alarm as a sign of a good or bad manager. If that alarm sounds, it's time to find another gym. As a or just don't go to Planet Fitness in general. Or just dead ass don't go to Planet Fitness. Just go to a different fucking gym. The only appealing thing about Planet Fitness is it's so fucking cheap. That is the only thing I will give about Planet Fitness is it's like, dude, it's like, it, it, isn't it like a quarter a month if you're like a student or some shit in the summer? It's like a dollar to go or some dumb shit. And that's like $10 a month. Most gyms are like 30 bucks a month. Rick is slamming his weights, wearing a bodybuilding tank top and drinking out of a water jug. What a lunk. What a lunk. What a lunk. In the lunk. previously mentioned video where Brian Shaw gets kicked out of Planet Fitness, a sign can be seen which reads, Dress code to maintain our no gym intimidation environment. Okay, no string tank tops. I was going to say, if you can't wear a tank top in general, they would be okay with this. Like, this tank top you could wear, it's the stringers where, like, the back is out. Well, at that point, like, stringer tank tops are almost pointless. Boots, sandals, or string tank tops, thank you. Other banned items of clothing include do rags, skull caps, bandanas, and judging from internet anecdotes. You can't wear a do rag, a bandana, or a skull cap? Why? In this video titled Planet Fitness Fail Why I Cancelled My Membership, the girl explains that she was confronted by staff for simply having a one gallon water bottle. One of the workers did a beeline for me one time while I'm working out, interrupts my set, and is like, oh, you can't have that gallon of water but here. It's just like. It's like, what? Like, I'm just sitting there thinking to myself, like, if I walk into a Planet Fitness and I'm holding a gallon water jug, who is getting upset by that? Like, I want to see the people 
that are actually like vividly upset. Like that they're like, you're, you have a gallon water bottle. This upsets me. You need to get out of my gym because I feel intimidated. Like, is anyone actually intimidated by that? Whilst another member was denied entry altogether because his water bottle was too big to fit in their designated cup holder. So I'm in here at Planet Fitness with this bottle and Miss Ashley. That's not even in, that's not even that big of a bottle. Does not want to allow me to work out because she says my bottle will not fit into her cup holder. Imagine asking someone to leave because they're drinking water and being healthy. For being a judgment-free facility, all they do is judge. And Bats! Apex TKL with the fucking banger ass comment. We won't judge or criticize you unless you're someone in shape in a gym. <laughs> See, that's what doesn't make sense. It's like. It's like if you're if you are an avid gym goer, the people that are actually spending a lot of money on the gym, they don't want you there. It's also because gyms love and and this is actually a, a sales strategy. I almost worked at a gym because I used to work at a GNC, so I was kind of close with like the management at my gym and shit. Gyms love selling memberships to people that they know won't show up. Say your gym's capacity is 100 people. And like, in realistically, if everyone showed up, you could sell, if everybody that had a membership showed up like three times a week, you could have 10,000 members. That's not what is actually going to happen. The majority of the memberships that they sell at a gym are, are people that will show up like once a week, once a month. Like say, like my gym probably has like 40,000, like not 40,000, probably like 10,000 members, 20,000 members or some shit. But realistically, the amount of people that actually show up every month is probably like five or six K. So like a good chunk of the people are just reoccurring, paying the membership and not showing up. And so that's what they want at the gym. And so that's also another reason Planet Fitness probably doesn't like uh, people that are in shape or that go often is because they're going to go more than other people. Planet kicked you out for sweating. Ryuko for the sub. Somebody said stop cursing. Yeah, that's crazy how I'm going to time you out for literally a day. Uh, debt and no curse. That's crazy how no cursing is only applicable to gaming days. And I say that every fucking time. And nobody ever listens to me. Wow. Yo, yo, no cursing? No cursing? Fuck, 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 bitch, tits. Cuck, 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 fuck, fuck, shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Damn! <sighs> Back to the video. Perhaps this is a bit of a conspiracy theory, but it's also possible that it's in Planet Fitness. Dude, look how many fucking... Dude, see, and this is the thing. They're never full. They're never full. Look at this Planet Fitness. One motherfucker on the, tr on the fucking treadmill, dude. They're never full. They're always... I mean, like, bro, it depends on the place. I know, right? It depends on the Planet Fitness. But, like, I've, I've seen Planet Fitnesses. Bro. Maybe like 20 people. On the first Monday of every month, Planet Fitness hosts Pizza Monday, during which free pizza is given to members before, after, and even during their workouts. Yo, then... ain't that fucking crazy that a gym that's promoting fucking fitness is giving you pizza? Planet Fitness makes a pretty decent argument for why they consider this to be acceptable, stating on their website, it's okay to indulge in a treat every once in a while. The truth is one slice of pizza isn't going to destroy a month's worth of work in the gym, which is why Planet Fitness Pizza Monday and Bagel Tuesday only roll around once a month. Moderation is key, yet as you might expect, these free junk food days have come with even more public backlash. It's, even if it's once a month and they're saying moderation is key, it's still the idea that your gym is a, is a place where it's supposed to promote health and fitness and you're selling fucking pizza. Yes, moderation is key. I eat pizza like once every other fucking week. But still, like, dude, gyms should, if gyms are handing out food, hand out fucking apples and fruit and other fucking shit. The gym is like having AA yeah. meetings in a bar. Nothing like getting a good workout than enjoying a high calorie pizza afterwards, hashtag gains. It's actually a genius tactic. You go there to lose weight and get in shape. They give you pizza, you gain some weight. You have to go back to lose that weight. Keeps you in that gain weight, lose weight cycle. Planet Fitness not actually wanting their members to lose weight might also explain some of the other things that you can get with your membership, such as their total body enhancement chamber, which sounding like a pile of infomercial garbage, apparently helps work muscle groups firm and Full body exercise and toning system. Powered exercise and vibra shape technology. 
What the fuck is that? However, these no effort scam machines just reiterate the type of customers that Planet Fitness are generally going after. Their cheap $10 per month memberships are seemingly designed to appeal to people who will go once or twice, never turn up again, but also never cancel their membership because, well, nobody- Oh, as I said, they want people that don't show up. That's what every gym wants, actually, so it's not even just Planet Fitness. ...can be bothered to go into the gym to cancel it when it's only 33 the cents- best gym, The best gym member is somebody who pays and never comes. Just to add a cherry on top of the cake, if you do want to cancel your membership, there are then massive fees involved, as well as other small charges that force you to spend more money before you officially leave. Make sure you don't break your contract, because if you break your contract, then it's $150 to get out of it. I see that I still got... You gotta pay 150 to leave? At a payment, a charge from Planet Fitness. Now my membership is discontinued. Trying to get rid of gym memberships is basically trying to get rid of a boyfriend that won't go away or a nasty rash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's facts. That is facts. Think about it. There can be 10,000 members for that one gym, but if everyone goes, then the place would be so busy it would either violate legal codes or be so packed. That's you would what I said. Jim's, Jim's fucking plans is to sell a certain amount of memberships in correlation with the percentage of people that'll actually show up. Yeah, no, fuck Planet Fitness. All right, we're gonna watch the other video at a different date because I have to skedaddle. Um, all right.